Good morning, today's lesson is 2.7. Today we're gonna multiply using partial products. Our essential question, how can you use place value and partial products to multiply by a one digit number? Let's unlock the problem. Connect. How can you use what you know about the distributive property to break apart numbers to find the products of three digit and one digit numbers? So first, how can you write 182 as a sum of hundreds, tens, and ones. Well, 182, in my hundreds spot, I have 100. In my tens spot, I have 80. And then in my ones spot, I have two. So expanded form would be 100 plus 80 plus two. Now it says use place value and partial products. We're gonna multiply six times 182. If you're gonna estimate that, 182 is close to 200, so you can easily do 6 times 200, and 6 times 2 is 12, and then I have my two zeros, so it would be 1,200. So my total for this should be somewhere near 1,200. Okay, so earlier we broke the 182 down. We said it was, remember it was 100 plus 80 plus 2, right? So now we're going to take our 6 and we're going to multiply and make our partial products. So 6 times 100, 6 times 1 is 6. I have my two zeros. So over here, my step 1, this is going to be my 600. Now step 2, they want me to do the 6 times the 80. Doing my distributive property, right? And 6 times 80. Well, I can think that 6 times 8 is 48. And then I have my 0, so 480. So this one's 480. Step three, now I'm multiplying six times the two, there's my distributive property, and six times two is 12, so I'm gonna put my 12 there. So now I'm gonna add up all my partial products, my 600 plus my 480 plus my 12, and they're all lined up right here. So I've got two plus zero plus zero is gonna be two, one plus nine, or one plus eight plus one is nine, sorry about that. And then six plus four is 10. So my answer is gonna be 1,092. And since 1,092 is close to 1,200, my estimate, um, then I know that this number is reasonable. So if I were to estimate the two times 4,572, I could say that it's close to 2,000, two times 5,000. And two times five is 10. And then remember, I have my three zeros. One, two, three. So two times 5,000 is 10,000. So now if I'm going to use partial products in place value, I am going to multiply two times the 4,000. And two times 4,000 is 8,000. Then I'm going to multiply the two times the hundreds. And two times five hundreds is 1,000. And then I'm going to multiply the 2 times my 7 tens, and 2 times 7 tens is 104 tens, so that's 140. And then I'm going to do 2 times 2 in my 1s, and I'm going to get two, um, 4 1s. Alright, I had to write that a little bit better. So now I have 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, and eight plus one is nine. So if I look back at my estimate of 10,000, um, 9,144 is really close to that. So I know that um, 9,144 is a reasonable answer. So you can use the model to kind of show you the same thing. So if we're gonna do two times um, 137, just like we did yesterday, using our partial product in our little bar, um, so I'm gonna have Two, so I, I'm going to break apart the 137. Since it has three digits, I'm going to do three breaks, right? So a hundred, and then in the in the tens I have 30, and in the ones I have seven. So 137. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to do my partial products. So I'm going to do two times 100, which is 200. So over here in the red box, I'm going to put 200. And then in the blue, I'm gonna have two, and I'm gonna do two times 30. So two times 30, well two times three is six, and my zero is 60. So now in the blue, I have 60. And then in the green, I now have seven times two, which is 14. 
So over here in the box, I'm going to have 14. Then I have to add up all three of my partial products to get my final answer. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 1 is 7. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So my answer is 274. I do want to kind of show you something really fast because I just want to make sure that I'm clear. So let's say this was 2 times 1,174. Since this has four values, four place values, it has it the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands, I would break this one up into four parts. I would break it up into four parts. So this would be my thousands, so I would have a thousand. This would be my hundreds, so I would have a hundred. This would be my tens, so I'd have 70. This would be my ones, so I'd have four. And again, I'd be multiplying by two. So I'd do the same thing. Two times a thousand is 2,000. 2 times 100 is 200. 2 times 70 is 140. 2 times 4, or 2 times 4 is 8. And then I would add those up. I would add up the, oops, I would add up the 2000 plus the 200 plus the 140 plus the 8, and that would give me my answer. Now, granted, this one was only three digits, and that's why it's broken up into three parts. If it were a five digit number, I'd break it up into five parts. I just wanted to show you that. So if, if this bar model, um, or this model works for you. Um, it, I wanted it to be applicable to other numbers. Okay, so they want us to estimate. So 190 is close to 200, and I know 200 times 3 is going to be 600 because 2 times 3 is 6. So my answer here should be close to 600. So um, again, I'm going to actually do it in the bar model because I think it'll be easier for some of you. So this is three digits, so I'm going to break my bar into three digits. I'm multiplying all three of these numbers by three. So in my hundreds place, I have 100. In my tens place, I have 90. And then in my ones place, I have, um, I have nothing, actually. So in this problem, I'm going to do three times 100, which is 300. So I'm going to write that here. Now I'm going to multiply times my um, tens place and three times... 90 is going to be 270, and that's because 9 times 3 is 27, and then I add my 0. And then in my 1's place, I've got nothing, so 3 times 0 is going to be 0, because any number times 0 is 0, right? So I add my 270 here and add my 0 here. I'm actually going to take away my bar model so that I can, you can see me, whoops, you can see me add. Sorry about that. All right. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 7 is 7, and 3 plus 2 is 5. So my answer is 570, which is very close to the 600. Let's do the next one. So um, 471 is close to 500, and I know 500 times 4 is 2,000, so that's going to be my estimate. I always like to estimate when things are closer to hundreds. It makes it easier. So now I'm going to do my bar model again, just because I think it's easier. This is a three-digit number, so I'm going to break my bar into three digits. In the hundreds, I have a four, so I have 400. In the tens, I have a seven, so I have 70. And in the ones place, I have a one. And I'm multiplying them all by four. So four times 400, well, four times four is 16. Um, put my two zeros. Four times seven is 28, and put my one zero. And then four times one is four. So I'm going to have 1,600 plus 280 plus 4. And 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 6 is 8. And then I have my 1. So I have 1,884, which is very close to my estimate. So I know it's a reasonable number. Okay. Lastly, we have 3,439. I actually am going to stick with my bar model. Kind of showing you both because I know a lot of you in my class are really visual. So this has four place values. So I'm going to break my bar into four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to basically do, be doing the seven times the three thousand. So here's my three thousand. So I'm going to go and write them all out. My four hundred. And then in my tens I have three. So that's thirty. And then in my ones I have nine. So seven times three thousand. Well, seven times three is twenty-one. Right, and then I'm going to add my three zeros, so I'm going to put it over here. Then next, I'm going to do seven times the four hundreds, and seven times the four hundreds is well, seven times four is twenty-eight, and then I add my two zeros. 
So I've got 2800. Zero, zero. Make sure you're lining these up so it doesn't get too sloppy. Next, I have my 7 times the 3, which is in the tens place, so it's 7 times 30. 7 times 3 is 21. I add my 0, so I get 210. And then finally, I have 9 times 7, which is 63. And now I'm going to add that all up. 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. 6 and 1 is 7. 8 and 2 is 10. I carry my 1 over. And then I have 2, 3, and 4, and 2. So my answer should be 224,073. I did not estimate that. Sorry about that. Um, but my estimate would have been close. So let's see. Uh, 33,439. It's close to, it's closer to 3,000, and 3,000 times 7 is going to be 20, or 2,100. There you go, because 7 times 3 is 21, and then you just add your three zeros. So, it is close and reasonable. Okay, I'm going to keep going for just a minute, um, but instead of drawing it out, because there's not a whole lot of room here, I'm just going to kind of do it. So, 4 times 50... Uh, 4 times 5 is 20, and then I add my 0, and then I'm trying to make it so you can see, and then 4 times the uh, 3 is 12, so then when I add it up, I get 2 times 0 is, or 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 2 plus nothing is 2, so I get, and make sure I do my dollar sign, right, $212. Over here, I'm doing the 9 times the 400, and 9 times 4 is 36 and then I have my two zeros and now I'm doing the next place value so now I'm doing 9 times 70 and 9 times 7 is 63 and then I'm going to add my one zero right I know I'm not drawing it out but this is basically um hopefully you're still seeing it uh so now I'm doing my my last place value which is my ones place so 9 times 3 which is 27 and then I'm going to add them up so I've got 7, 3 and 2 is 5, 6 and 6 is 12, carry my 1, 3 and 1 is 4. And again, this is dollar sign, so make sure you have your dollar sign. So that's 4,257. Okay, let's do the next one. So I'm going to do 6 times 600. So 6 times 6 is 36. And then because it's 600, there's two zeros. Next, I'm going to do 6 times my zero, which is pretty easy because six times nothing is nothing, right? And then finally, I'm going to do six times my ones place, which is um, eight, and six times eight is 48. Make sure you're lining up. That's really important. When you get ready to add, you want to make sure you're, you're doing the right place values. Um, so zero, zero is eight, and four and zero is four and six and three. So the answer in this one should be 3,648. All right, I want you to do eight, nine, 10, and 11. Oh, and you'll notice I did not estimate on these. Um, I can go back in and put the estimates for you. I'm actually, in my class, I'm not gonna make you estimate down here. I really just want you to add these four properties. And when you're done with those, you're going to do Think Central. But let me do my estimating up here. Um, so I've got, this is basically close to 50 plus 4, and I know 50 times 4 is 200, so that's a reasonable estimation. And then over here I've got 473 times 9, well, it's kind of like saying 500 times 9, 5 times 9 is 45, and then I would have two zeros, so it would be 4,500. Again, it's pretty reasonable. And then over here I've got 608 times 6, 608 is really close to 600, and 600 times 6 well, 6 times 6 is 36, and then I'd have my two zeros. So again, my estimate's reasonable. So again, in my class, I'm not making you estimate. I just want you to do the problems for these four, however you choose to do them. If you'd like to do it like this, if you'd like to draw a bar, um, the model that we did in the other one, that's fine. All right, I will be on the carpet if you need me. Again, you're going to do these four problems, and then you're going to do Think Central. All right, good luck.